Let's find some limits from a graph. Example one says using the graph provided, calculate the following limits. And I see a graph of a piecewise function g at x right here. I see that it's discontinuous at a couple points, uh, at two and five. So let's calculate the limits at those two x values. Part A and B are asking us to find the left and right hand limits as x approaches two. Part A specifically wants us to find the limit of g at x as x approaches 2 from the left side of 2. I know that little minus sign means from the left side of 2. So let's go to our graph and let's see what we're looking for. I'm going to draw a vertical line through x equals 2. So I have a visualization of what my function is going to be approaching. And I'm interested in part A for looking to the left of x equals 2. So that would be this shaded area here. And I want to know as the function approaches an x value of 2, what are the y values approaching? So let me draw a few points. I'm going to draw a few points whose x values get closer and closer and closer to an x value of 2. Let me just show you what their x values are doing by connecting these down to the x-axis. Here's my first x value. And there's my next ones. Notice these x values that I'm drawing are getting closer and closer and closer to the x value of 2. And they're approaching 2 from the left side of 2. So as these x values are approaching 2, what's happening to the y values of the function? Well, the first y value of the function, which I'll label as g of x, is right there on the y-axis. The next point that is even closer to an x value of 2, its y value is a little bit higher. And then the last one I drew, its y value is just below 3. So the y values seem to be trending towards 3. So we could conclude that as x approaches 2 from the left side of 2, g at x, the y values, are approaching 3. So I'll say my answer to part A is 3. It doesn't matter that the function doesn't exist at 2. We just care what is happening as x approaches 2 not actually what happens when x equals 2. Part b wants us to do the same thing, but this time we want to find the limit of g at x as x approaches 2 from the right side of 2. That's what that plus sign means. So let's go back to our graph and do the same thing. But now let's look to the right of x equals 2, so this area of the graph. In this area, as the function's x values approach 2, let's try and figure out what the y values are approaching. So let me label a few points again. I'll start with a point whose x value is pretty far away from 2 and far to the right away from 2. And then I'll move on a little bit closer and then another one even closer still. So notice the x values started far to the right away from 2 and then it got a little bit closer and then even closer. So the x values are approaching 2 from the right side of 2. And what is happening to the y values in this section? Well, the y value of the furthest away point, let me connect it back to the y-axis, was up there somewhere between 1 and 2. And then the next one was a little bit closer to 1. And then the last one's y value was even closer to a y value of 1. The values of the function seem to be getting closer and closer and closer to 1. So as we approach from the right side of 2, I can say my answer is... 1. So because the left and right hand limits are not equal, we say that the overall limit as x approaches 2 does not exist. And let me remind you of the rule. In order for a limit to exist, three criteria have to be met. The limit from the left has to exist, the limit from the right has to exist, and they have to be equal to each other. So even though the left and right limits both existed, they weren't equal. So we say the limit as x approaches 2 of g at x does not exist. All right, let's now do part d, e, and f, where we're finding the left and right limits as x approaches 5. So part d, we want to find the limit of g at x as x approaches 5 from the left side of 5. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let me draw a vertical line through 5. We're trying to find the limit as x approaches 5 from the left. So let's look to the left of x equals 5, this part of the graph, and see what is the y value of the function approaching as the x value of the function approaches 5. It seems that as the x value of this function is approaching 5 from the left, 
the y value is approaching. Let me just connect this back to the y axis to see. It looks like it's approaching 2 on the y axis. So I'll say my limit as x approaches 5 from the left of g at x equals 2. How about from the right side of 5? Let's now look at the area to the right of 5. And let's look at what is the y value of the function approaching as x is approaching 5 from the right of 5. I notice the y value seems to be approaching the exact same value as it was from the left. It seems to be approaching 2 again. So I can say the limit as x approaches 5 from the right is also 2. Since the left and right limits both exist and are equal to each other, I can say the overall limit of g at x as x approaches 5 is 2. Now, if I look at the graph, I know when x is 5, the actual value of the function, I can see here, is 1. But we don't care for limits what a function equals at the point. We just care what it is approaching as x approaches that x value. Let's try another example. Example 2 says calculate the following limits using the graph provided as well. Part A says find the limit of f at x as x approaches infinity. So this is a little bit different than the first example. Let's look at the graph and let's think about what that means as x approaches infinity. That means as x gets infinitely big, what do we think the y value of the function is approaching? So as x approaches infinity, I can imagine the function going forever to the right. Let me label a few points on this function with x values that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then I'm going to see what are the y values trending towards of these points. Do they seem like they're going to be leveling off towards a certain value? So the y value of the first point I drew was a little above 2. The next one was a little above 1. Then it was below 1. And the last one I drew was pretty close to a y value of 0. So here are the function values. Notice the function values seem to be getting closer and closer and closer and closer to a y value of 0. And it looks like there's actually a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, which is why, as x approaches infinity, y would be approaching the horizontal asymptote, which seems to be at y equals 0. So I can say part a, it's equal to 0. Part b, we want to find the limit of f at x as x approaches negative 4 from the right side of negative 4. So let me go over to my graph and draw a vertical line through x equals negative 4. So since we want the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right of negative 4, we're looking at this area here. This is all to the right of negative 4. And we want to know, as the x value of the function gets closer to negative 4, what's happening to the y value of the function? So we're looking at this section here. What is happening to the y value of this function as the x values get closer and closer and closer to negative 4? Let me just label a couple points on here that are getting closer to an x value of negative 4. Notice as these x values are getting closer to negative 4, what's happening to the y values? The y values go from like 2 to 3.5 and then very quickly to above 8. So the y values seem to be going infinitely high. As I get closer and closer and closer to the x value of negative 4, the function's going to keep going infinitely high. So I'll say there's an infinite limit here. The function is going towards positive infinity. How about part c, as x approaches 1 from the right of 1? Let me draw a vertical line through x equals 1. As the function approaches x equals 1, and part c wants from the right of 1. So we're looking to the right of x equals 1. What are the y values of the function approaching as x values approach 1? It seems that the y values are approaching 1. How about as I approach 1 from the left side of 1? We're now looking to the left of x equals 1. What are the y values of the function approaching as x is approaching 1 from the left side of 1? The y values seem to be approaching 2. 
Even though the left and right limits exist as x approaches 1, they're not equal to each other, so the overall limit of f at x as x approaches 1 does not exist. Jensen Man!